get ready. Disneyland Paris is Disney's European resort, boasting two theme parks and a whopping seven hotels. In this video, we're going to run down the accommodation options and uncover which of the Disneyland Paris hotels we believe offers the best value. Of course, a lot of factors go into what determines value, such as the size of your family, the time of year you visit, and what amenities you'd like during your stay. Thankfully, Disney cater to all budget types with their hotels, and you might be surprised at how affordable some of them can be. Before we jump in, we'd just like to give a quick reminder to like this video and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us reach a wider audience. Now, before drawing comparisons, it's important to give a quick overview of each of the Disneyland Paris hotels, their names, general benefits and drawbacks, what's unique about them and how much they generally cost. The Disneyland Hotel is currently being renovated and so falls into a bit of a funny spot in this video. However, the hotel really is in a category of its own, and so it's difficult to compare to the other hotels anyway. The Disneyland Hotel sits above the gate to Disneyland Park. It's an elite level 5 star hotel and is likely considered a bucket list once in a lifetime experience for most Disney fans. It boasts the best amenities including a private entrance to the park, but also comes at the highest price, so keep that in mind as we draw comparisons later. The resort's most recently renovated hotel is Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, now showcasing a Marvel theme. This aligns well with the forthcoming Avengers Campus Land set to open in Walt Disney Studios Park later this year. It's a four-star hotel on Lake Buena Vista and is a 10-minute walk from the parks, which is the closest to the park save for the Disneyland Hotel. A shuttle is also available. It has two restaurants, the Manhattan Restaurant and the Parkside Diner, as well as a bar called the Skyline Bar. It has an indoor-outdoor pool, a sauna, a steam room, a fitness club and tennis courts. Given its recent renovation, Hotel New York is usually the most expensive hotel option available. Renovated in 2016, Disney's Newport Bay Club is also a four-star hotel on the shore of Lake Buena Vista. It follows a New England coastal theme and offers two restaurants in the Yacht Club and Cape Cod restaurant, as well as a lounge and bar called the Captain's Quarter. It also has an indoor-outdoor pool, sauna, steam room and fitness club. It's a 15 minute walk to the parks, or a shuttle is available which takes about 8 minutes. It has a great list of amenities and generally has a higher cost than the other Disneyland Paris hotels available. The third and final hotel on Lake Buena Vista is Disney's Sequoia Lodge, a 3 star hotel following a wilderness theme. It has one restaurant called Hunter's Grill, and a bar called Redwood Bar and Lounge. It has an indoor outdoor pool and fitness room. Notably, it's missing extra amenities such as a second restaurant, a sauna, a steam room, and this is what likely takes it down a star rating from the previous two hotels. But of course, this is reflected in the price. It's a 15 minute walk to the parks or an 8 minute shuttle, and the hotel is broken into the main building and six separate lodges. So while the hotel has great amenities, they may not be in the building you're staying in. We now move away from Lake Buena Vista and further away from the parks. Disney's Hotel Cheyenne is a three-star hotel, which is a 20-minute walk to the parks, but an eight-minute shuttle is still available. The Western-themed hotel is broken into a number of buildings, which line up along two sides of a main street to form a Western town. It has a restaurant called Chuck Wagon Cafe and a bar called Red Garter Saloon. It lacks a pool, spa, or fitness facilities, but this hotel does cater to a lower budget than the aforementioned hotels and can be a very affordable option. Where you're staying in this hotel could be a big factor though. For example, the Running Bear building is close to the route to the park, while the Soaring Eagle building is quite far away. If you're staying up the far end, you'd be walking for a few minutes before even leaving the hotel. Another budget-friendly option is Disney's Hotel Santa Fe. It's located just beside Hotel Cheyenne and is similarly a 20-minute walk and 8-minute shuttle from the parks. It has a Route 66 and Motel theme, and is broken into a number of different buildings. This is a two-star hotel and lacks any quality amenities, but does have a restaurant in La Cantina and a bar named the Rio Grande. If you're looking to spend all of your days in the parks and not around your hotel, this can be a good option as a place to rest your head for the night. With the next hotel being off property, Hotel Santa Fe would usually be the cheapest on-property hotel in Disneyland Paris. Disney's Davy Crockett Ranch is a bit of an outlier in this video, both literally and figuratively. 
It doesn't classify as a hotel and hence has no star rating, but is more of a campsite with cabins. It's not located on Disneyland Paris property and no shuttle is available, so you really need to have a car for this to be an option. Surprisingly though, it does offer some better amenities than other budget Disneyland Paris hotels. It has a massive indoor pool and indoor tennis courts too. It has a restaurant called Crockett's Tavern and a bar called Crockett's Saloon. This option is worth exploring as you can potentially find dates where staying here can come in at just a fraction above the cost of your ticket prices. We'll expand on that later. Amenities. As you can see from the overview of the hotels, a range of amenities are available and line up pretty well with how the hotels are priced. If you're looking to spend a lot of time in your hotel, then you'll likely want a pool, a bar and lounge and some restaurants. We'd say if these things are important to you, Newport Bay Club has really great amenities if you have a higher budget. If you'd still like a pool and are on a tighter budget, Davy Crockett Ranch could be your best option, but this will mean you're further away from the resort and won't have access to a shuttle to the parks. It's worth noting too that the three Lake Buena Vista hotels, Hotel New York, Newport Bay Club and Sequoia Lodge, all have exclusive clubs that come with extra amenities. Empire State Club, Compass Club and Golden Forest Club respectively. These all have exclusive lounges and private check-ins. But of course, staying in club suites comes at a higher cost than standard rooms in their hotels. Location. The Disneyland Hotel can't be beaten for location, being located right over the entrance to Disneyland Park. But aside from that, all hotels except Davy Crockett Ranch are 8 minutes away by shuttle. So if you're planning on using the shuttle, there's little difference between staying in Hotel New York and Hotel Santa Fe. But if you're planning to walk, there's quite a big difference. Hotel New York has the best location, being just a 10 minute walk away and based right at the end of the Disney Village. But in truth, all three Lake Buena Vista hotels are all well located for walking. Hotel Cheyenne and Hotel Santa Fe are a longer walk, but again, a shuttle is available for guests staying in these hotels. Davy Crockett Ranch is probably the least location friendly option, but this is balanced out by amenities and price. Overall value. As said before, value is based on so many variables. What we deem as good value might be poor value to someone else. We've taken a look at various dates across the Disneyland Paris hotels, and the first thing to note is that the rates fluctuate heavily based on dates. For example, if you're going on a weekend in May, Newport Bay Club can be bad value, but if you're trying to book for a midweek stay in June, it can be more affordable. So our first piece of advice is to map out your dates and get prices for all hotels for your specific dates. Your park tickets are worked into the price of your stay, which is important to know. If you're a family of two adults and two kids, three day tickets will cost you about 800 euro for midweek tickets and about 980 euro for weekend tickets at the time of this recording. So you can subtract that from your overall hotel rates to work out how much you're actually paying for the hotel. We actually found weekend rates for Davy Crockett Ranch for three days and two nights for a family of four for 1,017 euro. This means that your two nights in Davy Crockett Ranch cost just 37 euro altogether. Staying on property can actually be cheaper than staying in an external hotel, so it's always worth checking. Again, it really depends on dates and time of year, so it can be of value to try a few different dates to get the best deal. Overall though, we'd say Sequoia Lodge is really good value for what you get. It's very middle of the road in terms of amenity, location and cost. You're about 15 minutes away walking from the parks and you have a great restaurant and bar as well as a pool. It's almost always priced cheaper than Hotel New York and Newport Bay Club. It doesn't have the same amenities but for us that trade off feels fair. If you don't mind not having a pool and being further away, you can move towards Hotel Cheyenne and Santa Fe or if you're looking for more amenities like a sauna and steam room and more restaurants, you can pay more for Hotel New York and Newport Bay Club. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video of best table service restaurants in Disneyland Paris, which is on screen now. In your opinion, which hotel offers the best value? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. We hope this will help you pick the hotel that's right for you and your family. And now you're ready.